December the 6th, 2019, it is, today is Sunday morning. Um, it's like this, I finally got 6 hours of sleep. Uh, most of you are gonna say, boy you're crazy, just 6 hours, this is at least what I would be uh, under normal circumstances. It's only 6 hours and you do need 8 hours to rest your body, your mind and everything else. Uh, however, the six hours, you have no idea how good it feels. I'm going to repeat. It feels good because when you get every day one hour of sleep or up to three hours of sleep, believe me, when you get six hours of sleep, it feels really, really good. Over time, this type of sleep deprivation torture accumulates in a body and it gets really, really heavy. So when you get six hours of sleep, it feels like a holiday, like a real holiday. Uh, here I'm gonna take I'm gonna make a situation update about what's going on uh, Yesterday and the day before yesterday I was heavily heavily radiated with electromagnetic radiation uh, I did not even have uh, any noise anything any pressure any issues uh, but when I went inside of the bed, it boosted and it boosts like immediately when you go inside uh, It just go whoosh. It just uh, Within the first hour what happens is you don't see the roommate anywhere He goes walk back and forth back and forth back and forth within an hour uh, you are all messed up it goes inside was the other roommate is basically laughing at you and obviously you cannot go sleep he goes sleep right in front of you and you're left helpless basically right there radiated uh you feel like you got plenty of rest because i believe what it does it affects that it leaves it in my opinion it inflammates brain this is how i see this is because you, you have you have effect like you got i don't know how much sleep in reality, you didn't get any sleep at all. Um, so that's what basically went on two days in a row. And don't forget what happened yesterday. At 8.30, I had a conflict over there in the room uh, because of what they have created. The one who have created this is a police. In fact, it was a police that suggested uh, for me to just go up there and when the conflict happens and then you can call them up so basically they suggested the conflict they basically said create a conflict go over there and create a conflict then call us that's the only time we can help you that's the kind of police we have here in poland i guess um i'm pretty damn sure this is not all the police in poland i'm pretty damn sure that it's not even one percent in poland but there is a good reason why I have not wasted my time uh, traveling all the way to Zgersh to report incidents to the police. And also I was not financially capable to do that because I would have to go probably 50 times to report something to some place uh, where you would not get absolutely any positive feedback. Uh, there is another reason for this Zgersh police. It's very dangerous. Uh, these people... They create problems like this, and then what happens is the National Association of the Police in Poland, if one of course exists, which I'm sure it does. When I think about Slovenia, and when I think about Kaczynski alone, what he suggested, what they do is they follow up on you with the problems, whatever the hell you go in Poland. So now they create this kind of shit. Ruskis create this kind of shit along with his corrupt police officers in Zgersh and that shit then follows uh, follows up on you wherever you go in Poland and this probably with even decent police officers this is what this Russian garbage is all about ruining your life basically here before one even starts preventing you from filing political asylum and so on and so forth I want to make a little update in respect to this uh, situation and also yesterday also i was radiated it's also yesterday then the roommate afterwards changed i went sleep 
yesterday, like at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, then he started to make noise at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, but I was also heavily radiated. Yesterday, he also moved from the bed, from the bunk below me, into the bed, which is about 2 meters located away from my bed, meaning that he's going to try to rationalize how uh radiation continues to go on but that he is not there anymore again today he made the noise at one o'clock in the morning he threw the rug down and he started to play pray loudly over there uh then at six o'clock in the morning he would go and he would open the door uh from the hallway it happens every effing day he goes, he opens the door from the hallway where people walk back and forth, and he leaves them like this open. Uh, before this, uh, before he goes and he goes back and he sleeps uh, like a baby. Before that, of course, he makes a lot of noise going back and forth and stuff like that. So this is all about the sleep deprivation. But regardless of it, whatever I got between midnight and 6 o'clock, let's say 5 hours of sleep, it feels really good compared to what it was. I even got hour of sleep per day. It came even to that. Sleep deprivation torture is very bad. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, go read about people become agitated uh, back and forth. I didn't get agitated, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit I got agitated. I have to say that. But it creates problem when you go and you try to learn stuff because you're sleepy, you cannot do it for one thing. Second thing, it's really not recommended to go and to lift weights. Uh, do the gym, basically. Uh, go and do physical, you know, anything physical exercise because the heart is not rested enough. Uh, and what these terrorists here, because these are terrorists, it's time to call these people what they are. Assassins, they are hitmen. This guy is a hitman. What they do is they they try to um, they observe what you do. It's like a prison type of environment. Wherever you go, they stalk, they watch what you do, this and that. And so what they do is they do the stuff like this to basically cut you away. I also have to say something else in respect to uh, my studying Polish language. I feel like I have been observed, like I have been observed by someone that watches what basically I'm doing, like studying language. And, you know, what you try to do is you try to uh, get a lot of knowledge. Uh, you try to accelerate that knowledge. Then what you try to do is you add, you try to add more knowledge to that, basically, and then accelerate one and so on. And that's how you expand your knowledge skills. And it did happen right when i uh, really took off and i was ready to just go further and expand the whole thing that incident yesterday happened that they would place this guy with whom i have physical confrontation police was called and so on three months ago uh they would uh, three months and a half ago they would place him again uh inside of the room so this was like Totally calculated. I went to sleep again at 2 o'clock in the morning and it was noise the whole night and so on and so forth. So they, it seems to me like it's a little bit more that goes on. And it did happen before too. So they, are they mine you basically on every step of the way, whatever it is that you do. Let's go back to my roommate. He's going to try to portray, they're going to try to portray uh, the situation as he was not the one who was doing these things. He was not alone who was doing these things. There is an apartment right next to our apartment where there is, of course, another Chechen criminal inside who had son, and this complaint about this son, how the son is under MK Ultra, that this son would be with the Russians, but that he would be as a uh, that he is a real Chechen and with the Chechens and so on. So he wanted to distort my view. He alone wanted to distort my view. Gave me information on another Chechen, Chechen, how he was a police officer in Chechnya and stuff like this. But he alone tried to distort view, uh, like create a perception how there is a difference between him and his even his son and shit like this. There was heavy radiation, microwaving, and who knows what they were doing. 
coming from his apartment unit. I already have explained this very much in detail. Is this criminal that also complained about having a blood pressure issues, how he goes to the doctor uh, to get uh, medications for the blood pressure issues, uh, issues. One time I even called a rescue because he would be inside of the toilet I don't know, drinking uh, alcohol, smoking definitely with my roommate. This is what they do. This is crazy. Uh, I, like, this is not prohibited, but audio recording people is prohibited, right? I mean, this is when they life threaten you and shit, you shouldn't record. But smoking alcohol and all the shit that goes on here, that's quite okay. But that's fine. Uh, even call the uh, ambulance rescue to take him to the hospital. This is the guy that complains about exactly the same issue like I have. He is complaining about the high blood, blood pressure issues uh, and suggested also that I'm going to have this kind of problem too. More interesting than this criminal is maybe my roommate, Chechen criminal, who uh gestures that he also have the same very kind of the same issue high blood pressure issues but he would not go to the doctor of course it's a manipulation it's the way to uh f you basically so you would not even go to the doctor this shit is all audio recorded i'm not even making it up it's audio recorded and i have recorded this before um december the 15th of 2018 uh, because after December 15th, I no longer was allowed to record, uh, actually be December 19th, because appointment in Warsaw was in December 19th, and stuff I'm talking about was recorded uh, before December the 19th of 2018. So I am allowed to say, I don't even have this audio recordings here right now, but I do have, uh, I, don't, I don't have a time to place everything and go and find but the same thing the, uh, the roommate suggest, suggested all the time. I don't, I have the same thing. I have the same thing. They do this to us. They tell you, these people alone tell you, they do these things to us. They have done these things to us. And what my roommate suggested is, I don't even go to the doctor because if I would go to the doctor, it gets even worse. Uh, they give you the medications and then they do even more bad things to you and they measure how you're doing and the situation goes only from worst to the worst. So this is the type of people I'm in. I have to say that the roommate also did not only move, but he had like a large uh, power extension cord. You could plug probably four uh, more uh, outlets inside of one. Uh, that cord disappeared and was now substituted that was green court was now is now substituted with a white court which is like really short you can only uh, plug in two uh, electronic devices the so question is what also was inside of that power court why would he replace one uh what they're gonna do is, like I said, what they're gonna try to do is, he's gonna be on in the bed away from me, and they're gonna try to portray the whole thing like it would be actually impossible, something like this would be happening. So that's why this update, so we're gonna keep straight about what's going on and what went on and so on. Uh, is there anything else I wanna add? Uh, I'm still gonna need a few hours of sleep, uh, so I can normally function, of course. But uh, today, uh, I am going to uh, spend my time significantly uh, studying, unless some terrorist is literally going to run into my face. Uh, but, you know, this is a place where you have a bunch of terrorists here anyways. Uh, and I'm not going to go into whether they're engaging on behalf of the Kremlin or on behalf of whoever they are engaging. Uh, this is basically what they are. There is no difference. Uh, for me, this is all they are. This is all they ever going to be. They're very dangerous. Uh, God forbid I would support or express any kind of support for the people like this, for the clan, for, for literally, literally for, the, for the mob families that are together, uh, that are engaging in all types of criminal, illegal activities in Europe, in Poland. God forbid I would do anything like this. 
that too seems to be manipulation. That seems to be a calculation from the Warsaw. That we cannot get you like this. We're going to get you like that. Plenty of stuff like this. Obviously, they try to implement. Uh, and, uh, you know, even make my suffering here look illegitimate as not credible like uh, i have something to do with them and stuff like this away with this uh that's all it is today is again january the 6th 2019 uh thanks for watching this update and bye bye from grotnik in your watch poland take care so whatever you are bye bye